It's Jen. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's always great to see you. Today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite foundations. I know, I'm sorry, I'm like dancing around. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite foundations because I've gotten a few requests lately from friends asking what foundations that I like. So I wanted to share with you my top favorite. How many do I have? One, two. I wanna show you my top three favorite foundations. So let's get started. So if I had to rank foundations, I would rank the Armani my number one favorite. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have it on today and I am obsessed. I've been using this for years now. I absolutely, absolutely love it. And I have it in the color 5.5, which is, by the way, one of the most common colors I learned because I've been purchasing it for so long. I love this. It goes on. It's very smooth. It has a... I, I guess I would call it a medium coverage, but if you use a little bit, it can be light. And if you need more, you can definitely build it on if you're really feeling the need to go ahead and have more of a uh, fuller coverage. This foundation is, don't wanna drop it. This foundation is great. It is super, super smooth. It, if you're going to go ahead and make the purchase for a higher end foundation, I would recommend this one. Another one of my favorite foundations, which I wear in a lot of my videos, is the Christian Dior Star. I do like this one a lot. This one is a shade lighter than the Armani that I just talked about because this is the one I typically use in the winter months when my skin is a little bit lighter of a color and I don't have self-tanner on. I do have self-tanner on right now, which is why I use the Armani. I'd say the coverage is a little bit less than the Armani, but it's similar to it because you can build on it. Very smooth. I think the price point is very similar, if not not a little bit less, I will put the description in the link below. What I do love about this Dior one, it's long wear for sure, and it has an SPF 30 in it. So if your current skincare routine does not involve an SPF 30, then this will cover that for you. So it's always good to have that SPF in there. And I just realized I forgot to put concealer on today. Yes, that happens sometimes. Last up is a foundation that I have actually been wearing recently. I'm not wearing it today, but I've been wearing it recently when I don't have myself tanner on. It was one of those that I used it for all of last year. For some reason, I just stopped using it, but I'm falling in love with it all over again. It's a Charlotte Tilbury Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation in Light Wonder, and I actually have the color for Fair, and this is, again, when I'm not wearing self tanner, so my skin's a little bit lighter. I really like this stuff. The packaging, it's plastic packaging but it's really pretty it has rose gold and you can tell I've used a lot of it this does not have an SPF in it so make sure that your skincare does have an SPF I think this looks really nice I've been getting a lot of compliments lately when I've been wearing it so I think I'm gonna go ahead and repurchase once I'm out of this one so I think I'll you know rotate this back into my routine here I do really really love it uh, I really like Charlotte Tilbury's products and her skincare is really great but this foundation is really nice it is more of a I say like light to medium coverage, but again, it's very buildable just like the other ones and you can have the coverage level that you want, which I like because sometimes you just want a little bit and this is perfect for it. If you want to not dilute, but kind of make any of your foundations a little bit lighter, say it's just maybe a casual Sunday walking around and you don't want like a full face of makeup, go ahead and blend any of your foundations with a little bit of your moisturizer and it will thin it out and give you a lighter coverage. So just a nice little tip there. If I'm talking about foundation, I kind of feel like I have to tell you about primers. And this is almost out. <laughs> this is by Charlotte Tilbury and it is her primer and it is the Wonder Glow. This is, this is good stuff. This is a primer that has, to show you, it has like shimmer in it, not too much. You can kind of see it little bit of shimmer. And so what it does is you put it on before you put your foundation. And then when you layer your foundation on top of it, it just gives this glow and it is spectacular. Primer is definitely something you want to wear because you want to make sure that your foundation stays on all day and primer is a thing that helps it. If you want to glow, this is a great one. Armani also makes a really good primer as well that I rotate once in a while. Oh, Speaking of Armani, I forgot I pulled it out. This is the Armani Fluid Master Primer, and this is a clear gel. This one is just very, I mean, you can't even see it. I like this one. I use this when I really, really want long wear foundation. If I know I'm not gonna be able to touch up my makeup all day, I definitely use this Armani one. It is on the pricier side, but I do like it a lot. It's a little bit thicker than the Charlotte Tilbury because I feel like it, it kind of like seals in the moisture in your skin, which is a really good thing. So make sure you let it dry before you go ahead and apply your foundation over it. 
So there they are, my favorite foundations and primers. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel. You can click below or click subscribe up here. And as always, it is so great to see you. I'll see you next time. Have an awesome day. Bye. Mm -hmm.